back to my channel. Threw this back on this morning. Um, I'm under the weather. It is what it is, guys. I am... Haven't seen my grand yet, however. Um, JR and Tasha don't feel well as well. And the kids were up several several times last night congested not being able to breathe they did the at home covid negative which is a blessing um so i am actually running to duncan and this is from yesterday my hair put up it's all it is what it is guys take me or leave me um so i'm gonna run there and then i'm also going to pick them up McDonald's for the girls because that's what they said they wanted and they really haven't eaten much. So they have some Buffalo Bills box, I guess it is, that has nuggets and hamburgers and fries or whatever. So Nana said, I will go, don't worry about it. So here I am off. Uh, I, uh, before I left, I washed my hands really well and I also use sanitizer because I'm not gonna touch my face whatsoever while I do my order. But how's it going for you guys? Today is Sunday. Today was supposed to be Trey's first birthday and unfortunately it had to be canceled at the last minute. Um, it was canceled yesterday and unfortunately Amelia did not make her her um, at home game today for cheerleading um, she was a little upset about that she said um, how'd she say Tasha said I told her that you can't go because you, you could spread germs and she said I won't spread a mom I'll just cheer she doesn't you know understand you can't be around other children right now so um, tomorrow's picture day at school. She'll be probably missing out on that as well. Um, usually they do do a reschedule, but of course, the beginning of school and sick. And I don't, I think that some parents, when their children have a cold, send them anyways. And I know a common cold, you know, you all get, but the first couple days, I don't know. It's, it, maybe it's me. When my children were sick, they stayed home, even if it was just a runny nose. That was just me as a mom, though. So, uh, I wonder, I, I don't know if, I don't know if Jerry's going to go live today. I think there's been a lot of heat on her. And I don't think, if anything, maybe Jim and, and Sally. But we'll see. Because we know Jerry has a lot of um, wahonas, you know? big bouncing bolas. <laughs> That's not nice of me. I'm sorry. Uh, shout out to Kim C. Happy birthday, sunshine. No matter how I feel. You know, I'm thinking of you on this day. Oh, great place to park, people. Well, I don't know what it is, but parking right there, blocking the view is not too smart on a corner. It is also JR's birthday today. So Kimmy and JR share the same birthday. So you know I'll never forget it anyways, right? <laughs> uh, many prayers to Erin. Uh, she did comment in my comment section. Broke my heart. There's a long line because of the time. And football games today. So I'll be sitting in a long line there, I'm sure. Um, let's see. There's a lot of people having difficult times and going through hard times. Like, you know, like I watch on Facebook and YouTube things and people are having difficult times and there's people living in their cars and Jerry and Jim are blessed that they wouldn't have to live in their van. Blessed. Hi, can I please get a large iced coffee with the shots of vanilla and cream? Anything else? Yep, I'm going to get the medium iced coffee with the caramel swirl. 
shot of espresso and extra extra and then another medium iced coffee with the caramel swirl with regular cream and sugar that's it thank you so I want to itch my nose so bad right now and I will not do that as at first I thought mine was like like an, a reaction to the mascara because I do have a mascara that bothers me where my eyes were watering yesterday um, and I, my nose was itchy and right now my nose is itchy so maybe maybe I don't have what they have but I do feel like a train ran over me a truck or something um, and ribbons raspity ribbons she's also she's on day three of a fibro flare up so hold on let me do this all right just waiting on the coffee I could really use one been looking for my other glasses hello usually I keep them in my house thank you you too take care you know I'm pulling over and tasting it too, right? <laughs> just to make sure. I just hope the McDonald's line goes quickly because... Uh, yeah. <laughs> it took a lot of to lift the coffee, guys. Let's see. Chingle, chingle, chingle. Mmm. Ugh, I'm so glad I tasted it. I have to go back through. There is no vanilla or no Splenda. It is just coffee. I should taste theirs too, I don't know. Hi, how may I help you? I just came through and ordered my coffee. There's no vanilla or Splenda. It just says vanilla shots and cream. Okay, come on up, we'll fix that. Right? Yeah. Awful. Well, I don't think there's vanilla in it, and there's no Splenda. I always do Splenda and cream. All right, I'll fix this for you. I'm so glad. See, now if I would have went home and just trusted it after sitting at McDonald's, ooh, girls, ladies, gentlemen, hey, Hank. <laughs> um. I would have been so upset. But. Sorry about that. That's okay. Sorry Thank you. Still... Yeah. Do you Something. You a new one? Kenya, something's off yeah. with it. I'm sorry. No so it's just the form, form, form. Yeah, it's a splint. It's the vanilla shot. Four Splenda, four cream. I think she just added vanilla and Splenda to it. And mm -mm. Oh, there's a new worker there, so that could be why. Hopefully there's a right, because... I don't, yeah, they look great. Right. I don't drink like regular sugar. I don't like it. <sighs> Sorry. Yeah, now. Thank you. Well, it even looks a little better. Yeah, that other one was so bitter. That's okay. Yeah, you just when when you're a regular and you order it 
over two times a day, for the most part, you know exactly what your coffee is supposed to taste like. So, thankful I did that, right? Because I would not have wanted to drive back. Because right now, this little bit that I've been in my car, my back is on fire. But I'm thankful that I could feel pain. I'm thankful for a lot of things. Oh, the line went down. Oh, and they have new pavement here. Woo, woo. Wow. Hey, I gotta look at what this Buffalo Bill box is. Is that the name of it? It is. Buffalo Bill's Bundle. I want to rub myself. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Though I have to say, the thumb looks really good. Are you using the mobile app today? Uh, no. Can I get it for you? Um, the Buffalo Bills bundle? What kind of sauce? Um, honey mustard and sweet and sour. Else? That is it. Pull right ahead, please. First window. Thank, second window. thank you. 1680? Okay. 1680. I think it's 20 nuggets. I think. I didn't look. Cheeseburgers and fries. So I will earn points. So that's what I will do. She said second window. What I do with my car? Right there. <laughs> Just made myself bend. <laughs> I think I'll go home and I think I'll lay in bed. No, no. Well, I do lay on my back. But the good thing is the way I position my seat. It's got the lumbar out. My shoulders don't really touch. Um, I wish our friend would do that and help herself a lot. I just, uh, how no medical attention, you know, and, and I get people that have cancer, they have the choice. Do we take treatment? Do we not do treatment? That's your choice, 100%. Um, just don't say that you have these doctor's appointments and you want to fight, 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 and you're going to be the number one patient. And, you know, don't, don't say all that stuff, please, please. You know? Every week your stomach hurts. Well, you know what? I don't know. Let your primary know. Maybe they'll check you out and do t some type of CAT scan just of your abdomen. Um, maybe lay off of the um, oh the stool softeners. Come on. And what I don't get to is your pain medication is Tylenol with codeine. For stage four cancer that metastasized to your bones, you're only getting Tylenol with codeine? You're not getting like, not even hydrocodone, that is, wouldn't even be strong enough. Um, I can't think of the name, but it's like a fentanyl. It's like a, a pill form of heroin. Um, gosh, my memory leaves me sometimes. Or you're not getting like a morphine. You're not getting, you're not like, nobody's coming to care for you. Nobody's coming to help you shower. Nobody's coming to your home to take care of your wounds. Come on, something's not adding up. You know, and I'm thankful that Mona did hear stage four because, I mean, how awful that I keep saying, oh, it's not stage four when it is stage four. But the journey that you're showing, I mean, the Tylenol 3, the gabapentin that's hard on your kidneys that I don't understand why any doctor would have gave you gabapentin. I don't get it. I don't get why they say to add protein. Protein's not good for your kidney. I don't get how you say your kidneys work at 100%. How can they say that? 
That's not a doctor saying that. That's Jerry and Henson saying that. And it was to get us more, I think, to say more and more, oh, she doesn't have stage four cancer. Oh, she doesn't have kidney cancer. She played us to get us to look like mean and evil people when it was the information she was giving out. Nobody else was giving that information out but you. You know, and that nonsense with your diabetes and you know your body and come on. You don't know, I don't know my body. I'm not a doctor. I don't know my anatomy. I don't know what's going on. I need a doctor to let me know what's going on. And then to tell Jim his sugar is low at 107 or whatever. It's a great reading, Jim. A great reading. You, Jim. I hope Jim just starts listening to himself. Listening to his Nordic diet. Because you know what? A bag of chips. Jim was bringing up this. A bag of chips at Walmart. The Walmart brand. A large party size bag of chips was five dollars and twenty four cents. What do you know the vegetables you could buy with five dollars and twenty four cents? Flip, you could get a big thing of strawberries for three ninety nine. You could get grapes, bananas, fifty nine cents a pound, apples. There's so much you could get for that bag of chips. So I was trying to look through, and you know what? Maybe I'll do a little video on that, Jim, and help you out. Like, okay, Walmart's more expensive than Aldi's. I get it. But you can go to Aldi's. That's not far from you either. I don't know. I don't know. You could have fruits and vegetables. And then something was mentioned before about Price Chopper. I guess you get points back or half price or something. We've got a price chopper. I've never heard of that, but I don't have a food stamp card. Back in the day, I remember um, when I worked as a uh, uh, teller when I was 18, before I got into finished schooling for my medical billing and transcription, I also worked and went to school. And I was a teller at Lincoln Bank. And at Lincoln Bank, we used to have to disperse food stamps and they were paper like Monopoly you know and they would come in each month and then we would you know disperse like $65 book I can't remember the, domin the dominations of it right now but I do remember the $65 book and they had a silly one for $2 which I was like oh there's just two one dollar brown I remember the money color it was like Monopoly So even while I was going to school, I was still working full time. <clears throat> and I worked at the branch down uh, downtown Lincoln Center. I worked there for almost two and a half years. And then I went to a part-time teller while I did medical billing because I was a mom. It was important to me to be able to provide Actually, when I started there, I was pregnant. When I started to be a teller, I was pregnant with Michael. I don't know. It is what it is. I don't even think I'm, I'm not going to bother earning points because, uh, yeah, I will. Because I don't go here to eat, but once in a while, my granddaughters will request nuggets and such. And sometimes I can get like a free happy meal or free 10 piece chicken nuggets so I will use that hold on all right so now I am homebound I am just gonna walk that to their back door and text them when I get there and one of them will meet me there I don't want to go in the house right now because I don't want to get any worse than I am and I'm already achy and then I have to walk back home. So I might just go home and lay down in bed for a while. Uh, I'm so disappointed that, you know, I know kids get sick, but just for Trey's birthday, um, Tasha said something about trying to do it for next weekend. So 
I'm not sure if JR does not work next weekend or how that is going, but time will tell. And somebody had to go pick up the cake, uh, Tasha's sister. So there's $36 that, I think it was 36, 36 or 38, I think, for a half a sheet cake. And it's not really gonna get eaten. So, I mean, they'll eat some. But if she wraps it, I, I don't even want to wrap it up and give it to neighbors because I don't want to transfer any germs. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. You know, and I didn't want to, and well, Tasha and Jared didn't want to just leave it there and not pick it up because how, do, how good does that look, you know, leaving a cake? Doesn't look good, you know? And it's got my name on it, actually, with my phone number, so. Sad. Feel bad for little Trey. It's not like he knew, you know what I mean, that he was having a little birthday party, but. It's best that they all feel good. So, I'm just going to go home. Um, I'll work on this video in a little bit. Let's give you, it's not even 1 p.m. yet. And I'll work on the video in a little bit and then I'll upload it. So by the time you guys watch it, I probably will be in my room or on my couch just relaxing one or the other. My bed is comfortable because I can move my, my head up and my feet and position myself just right. So we'll see. But you guys always know I keep coming back and coming back. So, until later, guys. Bye-bye. I'll look better the next time, I promise.